I can't believe it. Thank you so much for that introduction. I just want to say that what's not included in that introduction was when I started out in high school, I wanted to be a song girl. You know, a song girl is somebody that has this like really long poofy hair and they wear these cute little skirts and they have white gloves and then they do something called the nose clap and circles and they show up at all the games. And I thought this would be my way to fit in, you know, because clearly I didn't. And so I auditioned for it, you know, I rehearsed for it and I go out there and everybody's watching and I do it and I do it perfectly but they don't choose me. And I think, oh my God, now what? You know, I thought that was my way in. And so this friend of mine came up to me and said, Patty, you know what? What you should do is become the pep commissioner. And I'm like, pep commissioner? What's a pep commissioner? I mean, really, right? And they said, well, pep commissioners are on student council, so you get out every Friday, you don't have to go to class. And then on Thursdays, you make posters for all of the school events. And so I spent my high school senior year creating thousands of posters and showing up to get everybody pepped up, just like you. So I stand before you today a highly paid poster girl and pep commissioner. And so I'm here as your PEP commissioner, all of you graduates, and you, all of you out there in the audience, you're my PEP squad. Are you ready? When I say 2019, you say yes. Ready? 2019. Yes. 2019. Yes. 2019. Yes. Awesome. All right, congratulations. Let's give a big shout out to all the friends, family, everybody that's here that supported you and gave you money and food. Let's just give them a round of applause. Thank you. Can you guys believe it? You actually took your obsession and you turned it into a lucrative career. You slayed. I mean, really, uh, what's true, though, is that some of you have no feeling left in your thumbs, no authenticating prints for you. That's going to make it really hard for you to get a, uh, you know, a global entry card. So you can't go anywhere. But who cares? I mean, you can just lay back in your beanbag chair, put on your VR goggles. There you are, Paris, Italy, bottom of the ocean, top of Everest. Call in Uber Eats. But seriously, like you have, have really earned this hard-won degree, the DigiPen Diploma. I mean, this is your golden ticket, really, to a life where your passion and your creative genius hook up. That is sexy. Now, I know that some of you out there, you graduates are looking at me like, what would that lady just say, creative genius? I mean, I mean, I'm smart, but creative genius. So let's roll back to the definition of creative genius so we can revamp it. So back in the 40s, I'm talking the 1940s, that's like when your great, great, great grandmother was alive, right? In the 1940s, when they said creative genius, they were talking about a person like Einstein or Edison or Madame Curie, right? That's the woman that um, she developed radiation and then died from it. And then in the 1990s, we're still calling people creative genius. You know, we roll back there and there's Steve Jobs, right? Creative genius. But in this day and age, we've redefined creative genius. Creative genius is anyone who has this high security access to the, to the innate capability that we all share, our imagination. Imagination is the language of creative genius, right? All right, so back to you academic acolytes. Let's paint the picture of your awesomeness, shall we? 
2019. Yes. Okay. All right. The truth is that you've been tapping your creative genius since you got here. It's your superpower. It's a direct link between you and your budding brilliance, right? And creative genius has allowed all of you to take your passion and live life from inside of it. And that is so frickin' fun, isn't it? Now you're looking at me like, what? You made that sound so easy. What's she talking about? Like you put your hand in a glove or I put my foot in a sock and that's me living life within my passion. But seriously, right? You have done this amazing thing. And just like any kind of awesome game, you entered DigiPen at level one, didn't you? And then, you know, you, every project laid into the night, you tested and tweaked, you developed, you failed, you fixed, and every challenge, you ramped up your skills. So today, I just wanna say uh, I confess that I watched some of your 2018 projects online. So clearly we start off at a very foundational level here. This is like uh, you build Pac-Man over and over and over again. But fast forward through these multiple levels of intricate design and beautiful sound score and then here you are, you walk into this room and you definitely, wouldn't you say, you have leveled up. Yeah. 2019, yeah. that's right. So welcome to the next level, life after DigiPen. I know now for some of you, you're like, scary, what? And the others of you are like, bring it. Right? Am I right? Okay. But it's not like you didn't have life skills before. You seriously did, but now you got this fancy portfolio of projects. Now you've got this technical terminology and acumen. Now I understand you can actually collaborate in teams and act very nicely. <laughs> well, most of the time anyway, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about this next level landscape. Because in this next level, what you've done is you've constructed this virtual and actual life toolkit to use. But what's that landscape look like? So here it is, an innovation ninja, Rita J. King. She's from Science House. This is what she said. She said, soon we'll be leaving behind the technology age and entering into an era called the imagination age. The imagination age, the one thing that carries you through there is creativity, that's one, and active daydreaming. That means that you are gonna make so much money. You really are, and the way you're gonna do that is by just accessing that creative genius conjuring up all of this advanced VR, creating these intricate sound scores that people can experience, and also Fortnite sequels. <laughs> all by daydreaming. And so good on you, let's do an inner Fortnite dance right now, shall we? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, so what skills are gonna be required of you in this next level landscape life? Well, like with any good storyline, there's gonna be some hills and valleys, but what you wanna know is how do I get to the turn in the plot more quickly? How do I get to the top of the peak without having to hike all those switchbacks? So the character, you, Get to live that total work happiness. Meet the phenomenal love of your life, right? And you get to just have money rain down from these poofy white clouds in a bright blue sky in a sunny day. Are we really in Seattle? Might have to rewrite that part. Gray sky. <laughs> but here's how you get there. Here's how. 
And this is my creative genius tip for you. Know that any time any idea or thought catches your attention, your imagination snaps a picture of it. And then you expand that picture with how you feel about it, your emotion. And then your brain jumps in and it starts to create these what if scenarios. What if I, what if I did that? I moved to San Francisco. What if this picture happens? I meet somebody on the light rail. We decide to work from a yurt up in the Methow Valley. Imagination helps you try these things on with those what if pictures. Meanwhile, your brain takes those pictures, seams them together into stories. And those stories become your life. But here's the tricky part. Every picture in your mind is like a seed. And you plant and water and fertilize that seed by repeated focus and attention. And the more focus and attention you put on that picture, the faster that seed germinates. This can be positive or negative. So you either move forward towards the things you want or backwards towards what you fear. But it all starts in how you view that picture. Am I right? Head nodding is appropriate. <laughs> All right, so let's run this in a movie score, okay? So in the plot of this movie, your avatar's name is Max. Max is a young creative mind seeker, decked out in acronym. Max has this wild, awesome hair. Max dials into a Zoom call for an interview with an amazing startup for a job that's perfect for Max. Now, Max is nervous, but confident. I mean, Max already sent his interactive design resume. And so, Max dials in, and the interview is going amazingly. <laughs> Unbelievably. You know, Max has the attention of everybody in the room. He's Svengali'd them. And so nobody's IMing or swiping or anything. And suddenly, Belinda from HR asks Max this question that Max didn't expect. So he's like, what? Suddenly, Max's brain is on high alert. It's sifting through these sequence of images, pulling this picture, no, that picture, mixing and matching, mixing and matching, trying to come up with an amazing answer. Oh my God, Max's, Max's amygdala's gotten involved. Suddenly it's sending the chemical cortisol into Max's system. Fight or flight, fight or flight. Max's palms are dripping in virtual sweat. Freeze. How do we help Max? What can we do? Think, think. Oh, I know, we gotta come up with a secret code to help Max at this next level interview. All right, Max. Calm down. Max, put them on pause. Mute them. Remember that lady at your graduation ceremony a month ago? And she talked about those pictures? Right, right. I'm supposed to draw a picture so I can keep my brain focused on the future. Right. OK, all right. I get a pen, piece of paper, and now I'm going to draw my future self. OK. An apartment in Seattle that doesn't cost $5,500 a month. Great. Crazy creative work where I get to use my skills every day. Awesome. Good, cool people who want to hang out with me and make eye contact, but not all the time. Excellent. Max scans over these pictures. And then Max speed daydreams this reality. Max, Max, are you still there? It's Belinda. Max takes them off mute, and the rest flows exactly as Max saw it up here in Max's imagination. And what did Max write at the top of that picture? My big life. And the rest is history. Now, if that can happen for Max, 
why not you? Fact, when you draw a picture of your future self, you look at it and fill it with feeling, it increases your odds of success by 42%. Even if you can't draw a stick figure, 42%. All right, so let's break it up here at this graduation, shall we? 2019. Yes. Underneath the graduate's chair, you'll find a postcard and a pencil because let's change those odds for you right now. Get your card, find it. Those of you in the audience, you'll have to use your program and a pencil nub you found in the bottom of your purse. <laughs> Hold up that pencil and that card so I see you got it. Okay, turn it sideways, horizontally, and at the top, write my big life, put your name and the date one year from today, April 28th, 2020. Do that now. This is where the Jeopardy song sings, and that guy keeps winning millions of dollars. Okay, now, here's what I want you to do. Imagine it's a year from today. April 28th, 2020, in the best case scenario, the best future you could possibly imagine. And on that card, I want you to write two to three words that represent your life a year from today without your critic getting involved. So overblown with joy, madly in love, fantastically successful, doing work that I love, write that. Whatever is true for you in that future, whatever it is that you desire, put it on that card. And then, like Max, draw one to two pictures of it. Even if you can't draw, do that now. She's giving me a look down here. Do it. You can. I know you can. <laughs> That's right. We're going to give you one minute to do this. Well, maybe not a whole minute. Best case scenario, future you want to live inside, two to three words, no fancy shading allowed. Okay, time's up. Was that a minute? Probably not, but you can finish this later, but here's what I'd say. Need another minute? Raise your hand. A few people need another minute. Hold on, audience, can you stand it? Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Tell your dreams of the future to the person sitting next to you. You can do it. Okay, graduates, here we go. Now, put that picture somewhere you can see it every day. Dashboard of your car, bathroom mirror, best friend's forehead. <laughs> and then every time you see that picture, daydream it, fantasize about it, double click on it, some piece of it, and dream it as if it's happening right now. And then, Get up every day and do one thing to go get that dream. Go out, make that phone call, one phone call to someone in the business you want to be in. Meet that neighbor down the road that's got that awesome connection. And every time you get out of a chair, meaning these chairs today, walk as your future self today. Do this. 2019, you! And every time you come up against some wall in your dark soul's experience, because you know you will, that's part of this game life that we're in, right? When you come up from that challenge and to that doorway of the challenge, to that archway and that portal, see it as a portal for opportunity. 
See it as something that's going to help you level up. And then sift through your pictures so you know where you're going. Sift through those pictures so you know where you're going. Open up that life toolkit you built. Flex those digipen muscles. Walk through the portal and dominate. 2019. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. Thank you.